Welcome to the Solution Series, brought to you by Double Radius and hosted by yours truly, Jeff Holdenry. I'm really excited today because surge protection is something that is very important to me. In my opinion, surge protection is probably one of the most underinvested items in a network, in a wireless network, or even a wireline network. Surge protection is so important that yet so few companies actually invest the money to do it right. So today I'm going to highlight a company called Transdector. Transdector is known all over the world as being the experts of surge protection, protecting your network equipment from lightning, static discharge, and other electrical power surges. They are the experts in the field and have been doing this for over 50 years. They have to be doing something right. In many cases, when customers start a new deployment, they just purchase the surge protection that's offered by the radio manufacturer. But why? Why would you trust a radio manufacturer with your surge instead of trusting a manufacturer that that's all they do is surge? If it is me, I'm going to trust the surge manufacturer, i.e. Transdector, who have been doing this for half a century and specialize in it, saving you time and money. And let's be honest, that's what we really care about. So what is the cost of time? You have a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollar radio sitting on a house, but is that the cost to replace it? No. It takes time to take that support call. It takes time to pull gear. It takes time to schedule a service tech or tower crew to swap the gear and the time to physically swap the equipment. All of that costs money. Do the math and figure out what it really costs. Investing a little bit of money into a proper surge protection and grounding can save you thousands. And that's what we're going to talk about today. When you deploy a proper solu surge solution, you always want to have surge at the top and the bottom of your cable so that we can isolate that energy, which provides protection to both your radio and also your rack or enclosure. First, we have this excellent rack mount piece that does zero for surge. It's just a nice, neat little chassis that sits in your rack. It has 16 slots, and they also make a smaller version of it that can be DIN rail mounted, and it has four slots. So what exactly goes in? In my hands, we have these two little cards. We have a Cat5, Cat6 PoE card, and we have a DC card. And I've said it before, but this thing has 16 slots. The Ethernet card takes up one slot, and the DC cards take up two. So if you run only DC, this chassis can support eight cards but you can intermingle them however you want. This is how you would clean up your chassis, clean up your rack space inside your hut, and this would be your ground surge put down at the ground level. For those of you that listen to our series on UPIN and RayCap, this would be the perfect ground solution to marry with their cable and their tower breakout box. So we've covered the ground solution, but what do you put on top? Now we have all of these devices and the first one we're going to go over or showcase is the AOPU Fit. <clears throat> it's a very popular product, and it actually covers PoE++. They make a light version of this that covers PoE+. So you have your Ethernet ports, you run your cables through, terminate your cables, you have your ground lug for grounding, obviously, and there you go. These devices need to be mounted as close to the radios as possible just to keep energy from joining the line, basically. This is plastic. You can zip tie it, hose clamp it, or however you want to fasten it to your tower. Quick, simple, easy. We see a lot of these going off the shelf on a daily basis. So let's say you're in the industrial space, or maybe you need something a little more robust. They make the same kind of device, but they make it in a metal enclosure for hazardous environments. As you can tell, this also has the ground lugs on either side, so make things simple for you to ground your devices, dissipating the energy and you have your Ethernet ports like before. This one in particular, you can actually insert power directly into the surge if you want to do it separately. They make a lot of different products, so make sure you contact your sales rep and figure out which one is right for you. Now, LTE and licensed point-to-point -point radios become more and more common on a daily basis. Most of these devices can be cabled by DC instead of PoE, and we highly recommend you do this. The first thing to pop in a static discharge is the Ethernet port. So if you have the ability to power your devices by DC, please do so. This plastic box has DC on both sides. You can also see the ground lug. Then you have the giant grommets at the bottom. This will support larger cables like 12 gauge cables or even bigger than that. So if you're running heavy DC cables, I highly recommend this model for you. On the industrial side, 
same principle but in a metal enclosure these support up to 14 gauge cable but once again you have your positives and negatives and you also have your ground logs on the outside mounting these surge protectors close to the radios makes life a lot easier these are some of the solutions as I've mentioned before and there are a lot of parts and pieces there's a lot of indoor outdoor and make sure you talk to your sales rep so that you can be sure that you get the right product for your business. I hope this has been beneficial and everyone has learned something today. Please reach out to us and let us know if you want to learn more about surge, more about grounding, or learn more common practices that could save you time and energy. Thank you for watching the solution series. We look forward to seeing you again in the future.